Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon for the Alliance for Community Trees webcast series. The AC Trees webcast series is a monthly webcast held at the lunch hour. These trainings leverage local successes by amplifying to a larger audience two organizations, methods, materials, and approaches. These sessions are planned to last for no more than one hour, with two presenters speaking on the same topic from slightly different perspectives, each for 10 to 15 minutes, followed by 10 to 15 minutes of questions and answers from the audience. Today's session is approved by SAF, the Society of American Foresters, for one CFE category two. So make sure we've got your number uh, if you want that educational credit. Also, if you have any questions about receiving uh, education credits from past webcasts this summer, just shoot us an email and we'll make sure that you're getting that if you've had any problems. Also, most state landscape architecture boards require only a certificate of completion, which we can provide to anyone who needs that. So again, just shoot us an email and we'll send you that so you can get your educational credits. This webcast is a program of Alliance for Community Trees. We are a national network of local organizations working to plant, care for, and advocate for trees to make communities cleaner, greener, and healthier all over the country. If you're not already a member of Alliance for Community Trees, please consider joining. Today's session is Corporate Citizenship, Investing in Communities and Canopy. Community greening projects offer a unique opportunity for businesses to give back to the communities they serve. Through structured corporate social responsibility programs, more and more companies are turning to tree planting as a favored community service project. Corporate volunteer tree plantings demonstrate a commitment to investing in a city's sustainable future. At the same time, they allow companies to raise visibility in key markets, facilitate team building through employee engagement, and make a tangible difference in the places where their customers and employees live, work, and play. Today, we've got two uh, great speakers representing different companies that engage in community tree planting in fantastic ways with impressive impact on the ground. We're so pleased to have them with us, John Kitchens from CSX and Katie Thiemann from TD Bank. Uh, we're going to start off with John today. John Kitchens is the Corporate Citizenship Director for CSX Transportation, overseeing CSX's relationships with charitable organizations and other community partners across the company's 23-state network. John's responsibilities include corporate philanthropy, volunteerism, community programs and partnerships, and company response to communities impacted by natural disasters. Before joining CSX, John served in several positions at Florida Power and Light Company most recently as Community Relations Director, with responsibility for foundation and company philanthropy, volunteer programming, and school education programs. John also played a key role in emergency management and business continuity efforts with Florida Power and Light. Clearly, lots of experience in the corporate social responsibility field. Uh, we're so glad to have you with us, John. We love working with you, and we're really excited to hear what you have to say this afternoon. Thank you, Lee Lynn. Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to be with you here today. Um, talk a little bit about corporate social responsibility at CSX. We're going to spend a few minutes on that. Uh, then we'll uh, get into more of some of the proactive things that we do in our CSR endeavors, and then uh, get into what we're doing specifically um, with trees and urban tree canopy. So thanks for having me and listening in today. I'm going to go ahead and get started. With the value proposition of CSR at CSX, um, like many companies, we've been moving um, from what used to be philanthropy to engaged philanthropy to um, philanthropy by objective to kind of a more holistic approach to everything we do and how it is related to social responsibility. At CSX, we're in the rail transportation business. Our company operates in 23 states on the eastern side of the Mississippi. Um, we're primarily a freight transportation company. Uh, we also do intermodal transportation. That's the large containers that you see 
on ships and trains and trucks. Um, so looking at uh, this particular slide, our involvement surrounds rail facilities, um, rail freight, and hopefully we manage that in a way in which it produces financial results. So we do have some key stakeholders that we try to reach through our corporate citizenship and other forms of community engagement. Clearly the communities, employees, customers and investors, and we have specific objectives for each of those. With communities, it's really the right to be able to operate and conduct our rail freight and intermodal business. For employees, it's obviously like many organizations trying to find the best and brightest and to recruit them to our company and keep them here. We do believe that many of the things we do in corporate citizenship make our company an attractive place to work and stay. On the customer end, we need to continue to build. Uh, part of that is being successful in expanding our rail facilities, but also our ability to serve customers and deliver freight um, and to instill confidence with our customers that we're going to be able to get their commodity from point A to point B on time. And then of course, we're all in business, or at least those of us in the for-profit side, um, to earn and to minimize risk to our investors. So how do we reach these different objectives through CSR? There's a number of different ways, clearly by communicating what we're doing and how we're doing it, by providing opportunities for these stakeholders to get to know us through community events, corporate events, through partnerships that we have engaged in across our network, and through charitable community investments or contributions. Again, corporate social responsibility is everything that a company does in order to support the society and and the, and, the, and and make and make the right decisions on how they run their business what we do in our operations is a big part of that but our particular area is the corporate citizenship department and I'm going to dive into that at this point in time My role is Director of Corporate Citizenship and primarily is responsible for community investment. That's our corporate philanthropy. It includes grants and sponsorship in kind, which also includes transportation. We do in kind transportation for nonprofit organizations. Community investments can also include the dollars that we use to support our employee involvement in the community through board service grants and dollars for doers grants. On employee community engagement, we do service days, fairly significant service days, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. We support employee volunteers and the work that they do, and we support our employees who get involved in nonprofit board service. Key responsibilities as a team include communications and delivering the programs um, that reach our customers and reach our communities. We try to make sure that everything we do in the corporate citizenship department supports our business through the development of new opportunities for, for business and for making sure that we're doing things the right way getting the right results the right way. We're also responsible for managing all of our philanthropy, um, managing the budget and making sure that we are investing our dollars in the community in a way that meets community needs and supports the objectives of the company. Employee community engagement, as I mentioned um, a moment ago, includes 
service days, many of which we do with AC trees and planting uh, trees in different communities. But we have a whole array of different programs that we do there. And then we do a lot to support the community during natural disasters like hurricanes and tornadoes. Now I'm going to show you some of the areas that we focus on. Most notable today would be what we're doing in the environment because of our connection with AC trees and urban tree planting. But we do have a huge presence in the railway safety and public safety space because of the nature of what we do, trying to ensure that the public stays safe around our rails and our crossings. Um, we do education to support the community and understanding rail safety and education in the schools around rail safety. In the environment, we pretty much get involved in anything that has to do with preserving and protecting natural resources and wa air, water, and land, um, and doing what we can to offset our carbon footprint, um, planting trees. In the wellness area, we have tried to take the learnings that we've done here at the company with our own employees and tried to do some programming in the communities to support uh, the community at large. And in community leadership and service, uh, we have a very strong emphasis on youth leadership, finding ways to get our youth excited about making a, a big difference in their futures and the futures of the company. We support organizations that help turn around dropout rates and help educate and provide leadership to young people. And I feel like I'm really racing through this, but I understand the questions come uh, after I'm finished. So please do take notes and we'll answer questions when I get through. Did want to show kind of what we feel is our greatest strength, and that is the actual partnerships that we have with national organizations. Of course, AC Trees is one of them, um, but our company also does some major work with City Year, FFA, National Safe Place, the Nature Conservancy, Dignity You Wear, which is probably one maybe you haven't heard of. That's a national charity that happens to be located here in Jacksonville, and they provide brand new clothing to specific segments. And our newest relationship is with Action for Healthy Kids, and that's an organization that's helping to get students um, physically active now that uh, a lot of PE programs and recess and things like that are no longer in the school. But these strategic community partnerships are how we get things done. Our group here is primarily myself, one person responsible for community investment, another person responsible for um, our employee engagement. Almost half of what we do goes to those in, in, the, in the community investment space goes to those partners. About 15 million in total uh, this year. And last year we had um, 1,500 service day hours with another 25,000 hours logged for volunteer service by our employees. One of the things we're the most proud of is our signature programming, our Trees for Tracks program. It's really the reason that we have come to know AC Trees so well. Trees for Tracks is a program that was initiated back in 2009 with a company pledge to plant 21,000 trees, one tree for every mile of track in our network. Those of you that don't know the rail industry, we do have to clear some trees from our lines in order to preserve safety, allowing conductors and engineers to see 
uh, around bends and what have you. And as a result of that need, we find the need to plant trees, particularly in urban corridors and urban settings. And again, um, that's what makes the partnership with AC Trees so impressive. AC Trees became our, our program partner, and they offer a number of different ways in which we can uh, plant those trees. The most noteworthy is volunteer service days where our employees and other community members come together, typically on a Saturday, to put somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 to uh, 150 trees in the ground in usually about a three hour to four hour time frame. At the end of this year, we hope to celebrate the completion of our program. As you can see in the graph, uh, we do have a goal to get to the 21,000 trees at the end of this year. And uh, we really do believe that the program has been so successful that we'd like to do it all over again. So whatever the sequel will be, um, we'll probably be announcing it as we celebrate the completion of this five-year program. There really is a lot of power in partnerships and corporations are looking for partners who can help them through their expertise to do things that the company can't do for itself. That is the case with CSX and AC Trees. We really do rely on the expertise of AC Trees to help us determine the right tree species and the right locations, to help us determine the right planting seasons, to tell us and teach our volunteers how to plant the trees, but also how to take care of the trees. Um, they also provide us with contacts to local affiliates, um, to city and county tree specialists, or the organizations in many cities that really handle the tree issues for that city. Um, but the most important um, of all is the follow-up, making sure that when our volunteers come out and give up you know, a half of their Saturday or more to do the tree planting, that um, what they've done and what they've accomplished will, will actually be there a year from then or two years or me, maybe even 20 years down the road. So having a partner that can help us ensure that the work that we're doing is sustainable and, you know, long life is, is a real key. Through our relationship with AC Trees, CSX has several different components of, of our agreement. The service day planning uh, those are the most exciting. Um, a typical one of those, we would have somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 to 150 employees out um, volunteering to plant trees, depending upon the size. Um, that really determines the number of trees. We've done everything from knee-high trees, um, that's kind of a rare occurrence, to uh, trees that uh, it made your jaw, your jaw drop when you showed up. I mean, some of those trees I think we've planted have been, you know, 16 to 20 feet tall, and they're pretty hard to move around, but our, our employees love the challenge, so uh, we appreciate the opportunity to work on those. Um, we do have a program in place that does not require volunteers to plant urban tree canopy. We have a tree giveaway program that we've made available with the help of AC Trees. But besides putting trees in, ground, in the ground, we also support AC Trees outreach and advocacy programming, youth engagement. Um, every tree that we do put in the ground with help from AC Trees and the affiliates, we get an eye tree analysis on that, which is very important to us in this world of uh, corporate social responsibility metrics and measurement. We're also a neighborhood sponsor and we're um, part of the Corporate Leadership Council.
when I think about one of the most important things um, from, from a corporation's perspective in working with an organization like AC Trees or you working with a corporation, it's to make sure that the work that is being done is recorded in a way in which those that are involved can refer back to it um, to see what they've accomplished. Um, you know, in, in the corporate social responsibility world, um, we are asked to complete surveys throughout the year, um, and many of those surveys feed into rankings and what have you. Metrics are so important these days, and the ability to keep track of everything you do, not only numerically, but in, in video, pictures, telling the story is just a critical component and something that corporations really like to be able to see and anything that you might be able to do there would be most appreciated. Um, we happen to have a site that keeps track of all of our corporate citizenship activities. It's called Beyond Our Rails. You can find it at www.beyondourrails.org. And it really does help us communicate the areas of focus that our corporation has. It provides a nonprofit corner for organizations who are looking for grants, who are looking for volunteers, in-kind transportation, uh, to go to one place and be able to um, apply for resources. Um, but what we find is really valuable is the event information uh, a calendar of events and a place where organizations, people, employees can go to see what we've been doing and to see what's coming up next. It also gives us a chance to highlight what we're doing with organizations and to not only talk about what we do, but as you can see on the next page, we, we even share uh, what we do with our organizations. Um, in this particular case, um, I've pulled out a slide that talks about what we do and how we plant trees and kind of a, a planting a tree 101. Um, on this same site, we, we not only post all of our service day events, but anything, any article, any release that has to do with our partners, such as AC Trees, and um, anything that we can do to showcase our employees and community partners engaged uh, you know, in tree planting. Back to the concept of sharing everything you do. Um, pictures really are the best way to do that. Um, thanks to our partnership with AC Trees, um, they, they provide pictures, but uh, typically everything that we do when we have volunteers involved, we have photographers and videographers there to capture everything that we do. And here's a few pictures uh, from past events. Um, I would highly suggest that you, if you have any interest in CSX being involved in things that you're doing that you go to the nonprofit corner at beyondourrails.org. Again, the nonprofit corner has an application for sponsorships, grants, volunteers, and in kind. Um, and everything we do um, is actually goes through that online system. Unfortunately, the, the volume of requests that we get in our 23 states pre prevents us from taking personal calls, but we do encourage everybody to take advantage of um, that particular website. And um, I think I'm gonna close on that and open it up for any questions. Beautiful. Thank you so much, John. That is a great overview of the work you do and, and why you think tree planting really helps uh, accomplish the goals that CSX has in its social responsibility and corporate citizenship. Uh, so, as John said, we'll open it up for questions. To the audience, uh, if you have questions, you see that tab in your uh, control panel. 
that says questions, just type it in there, uh, and I will ask it out loud over the line. As people are typing, I have lots of questions that I want to ask you about. Um, so this is perfect. Let me start um, with a general question, um, sort of about, about tree planting and working with nonprofits in general. And really, what, uh, the, the angle of my questions or the goal of my questions is to help a lot of the listeners who work for nonprofits think about how they can improve or, or design the work that they do with corporate um, partners. So, John, can you tell me a little bit about why you feel that tree planting and um, working with nonprofit organizations on community service is good for your employees um, as compared to other kinds of team building activities that might be done in the office? Sort of what's, what's the case that some local groups could make for tree planting as employee team building? Sure, um, and it's a, it's a good question. I think a lot of it has to do with the type of organization. Um, I'll quickly state that um, CSX, uh, we have about 30,000 employees, again, working primarily on the eastern side of the Mississippi. Um, of that 30,000, roughly um, 25,000 of them are working pretty much out in the field. So they're in yards. You know, they're along the rails or they're conductors or engineers. So we have a huge proportion of our workforce that works outside. And the reason I bring that up is because to hit one of the points, um, our employees like doing physical activity type of work. They don't like doing, you know, indoor uh, painting, um, all that much. I mean, it's not a preference. They'll do it, but you give them an opportunity to be outside, um, to be able to have a tool in their hand. Um, for many of our employees, it isn't even just the shovel, but you give them a pick and you give them a rock and, and they just really enjoy uh, getting in there and uh, swinging away. So I think one of the nice things about the tree aspect is that it gives um, our folks the kind of volunteer outlet that they're looking for, being outdoors, uh, typically in a park environment or some other form of uh, community space, um, making a positive difference in that community space. And or if we were to be doing it at a, at a school or a, a nonprofit organization, um, giving back to that organization, that community organization. So I think that's part of it. Um, we also have a lot of employees here in our headquarters location in Jacksonville, Florida, who work, you know, inside much of the day and seem to enjoy that opportunity to get out and plant trees as well. Um, I, I used to say that everybody loves trees and everybody would accept a new tree um, being planted in, in their, on their property or near their property. I know that's not necessarily the case. Some people don't feel that <laughs> way, but generally speaking, they do. And so um, tree planting just really appeals to the folks here at CSX. Excellent. Uh, you mentioned uh, the importance of telling the story, um, both because that's what a, a company needs to do to show the impact it's having um, through its CSR work. But tell me, tell us a little bit more about what a nonprofit can do to help a company tell its story. So you mentioned photos. Um, iTree was a good example. I know sometimes uh, your, your nonprofit partners do surveys so you can get feedback from participants and quotes. How, why does that matter and, and what, what should folks be looking to do? Well, it's, it's very interesting. Volunteers have different motivations. Um, and, and typically your hardcore uh, volunteers, um, they don't really do it for recognition. Um, but at the same time, uh, getting something that says, you know, just a simple thank you means an awful lot. Our, our Beyond Our Rails site actually has a place where people can write in and tell a story. 
and it means a lot when someone kind of unsolicited an organization that we've supported writes in and talks about the event and you know and, and is truthful about what they experience typically it's positive and being able to take that and generate an internal story um, putting it in a, an employee newsletter or putting it on our intranet site letting the rest of the company see how a group of employees went out and made a difference in a community. It, it really sparks interest. It really kind of pays forward so that others, you know, want to get involved, want to get out there, and then want to get others involved. So it really helps us help you when we can develop or create the momentum among our employees um, real quick. Uh, two years ago, uh, we used to really have to push to get volunteers out to some of our events. And don't tell Leland, even some of our AC Trees events. Uh -huh. But, but um, now we have another problem, but it's a good problem. And that problem is, is typically we don't have enough space to accommodate all the volunteers that want to come out. So we've created a very positive movement in the volunteer world here at CSX to the point where now we're oversubscribed for our service days and we have to do a, a good job managing expectations um, just because so many people want to get involved. That's a good problem to have. It is. Uh, just one or two more quick questions. Um, we uh, we, you've, you've talked about, um, you know, sort of telling this story to the company once you've already got these projects that are happening and employees are getting engaged. Uh, maybe you can talk a little bit about a good way to approach a company. You know, you guys are very large, but you've got locations all over. It doesn't need to be specifically CSX, but, um, you know, what are the most, you know, beyond just an elevator, speech, what do you feel are the most um, salient or compelling points to trying to get a company to work with you? You've already mentioned, you know, um, uh, employee engagement and uh, sort of helping to tell the story. How should people tailor that to the people they're talking to? That's a good one. I, I'm. Um... I'm not often the recipient of those kinds of inquiries, um, but, but what I do know is that our employees respond to demonstration of need. Um, when, when the reason that, that we need to plant trees is because, you know, the longhorn beetle has wiped out a, a particular type of species in, in Massachusetts, and you're familiar with that, Leland. We, we had supported uh, up in Worcester. We, we, did, we did service events, I think, four years in a row to help uh, replace that tree population. When, when there's, when there's a, a need that is well communicated around something like that, um, people seem to get more motivated to come out and help. So if it happened to be um, you know, tree damage due to Hurricane Sandy, or if it happened to be, you know, um, tree damage due to one of the tornadoes, or, or just the loss of trees for some natural reason, um, if you're able to kind of explain the story, again, there's that word story, um, our, our employees seem to respond to that. They, you know, rather than a, than a flyer that says, hey, we're doing this um, on this date and this is what you get and there's a t-shirt, would be to tell the story a little bit at the time that you're trying to sign people up. As a result of, you know, Hurricane Sandy, we lost a lot of trees uh, across the seaboard. Um, our organization is trying to uh, bring back uh, urban canopy in, you know, in the following parks and you know, kind of uh, explain the story to them what the need is, explain the need, and you know, make it make it as compelling of a story as you can. Fantastic. 
Thank you so much, John. Really appreciate it. And uh, we are we're going to, of course, keep you on, and we may even have you answer a few questions at the end as, as well. That's great. Wonderful first presentation and great perspective. We're going to shift gears and hear um, from a different company and another great partner uh, of Alliance for Community Trees from Katie Thiemann, who is the Associate Vice President of Community Relations at TD Bank US. After graduating from Rowan University with a bachelor's degree in marketing, Katie has spent the past decade working in various capacities at TD Bank, including in commercial lending, retail banking, and marketing. In her current role, Katie acts as both a program specialist and national volunteer manager, supporting the development and management of corporate community involvement. She runs the U.S.-based employee engagement programs and activities for TD, ensuring they remain consistent with the bank's corporate citizenship, community giving, and business goals. Katie manages TD Bank's employee engagement programs, including the Employee Workplace Giving Campaign, and is also the U.S. coordinator for the TD Volunteer Network, which is the bank's global employee volunteer program. Katie also, most important for today's call, uh, runs U.S. TD Tree Days and partners with AC Trees and our local member organizations uh, to do so. So, Katie, thank you so much for joining us. Please take it away. Hi, good afternoon. That sounds like I do a lot. <laughs> you do. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us today and taking the time to listen to to myself and John. Um, I, I'm kind of going through the same uh, thing that John did. I'm going to touch base on TD Bank's corporate social responsibility um, program and also how we plan and execute our employee engagement programs. And with that, it includes our tree planning program. So TD is committed to linking its business strategy to our corporate responsibility approach. Simply put, TD's business strategy is founded upon delivering value to customers, shareholders, and our communities. We seek to differentiate the TD brand by delivering great customer service and being responsive to our customers' financial needs. We depend upon a knowledgeable, engaged, and diverse workforce to deliver the TD experience. Um, so TD's environmental strategy has a goal of embedding an environmental perspective into all aspects of our business. We implement our strategy through four environmental pillars, and they are reducing the environmental footprint of our business operations, responsible financing that includes proactive management of environmental and related social risks, developing green products and service options for all of our customers, and what I do, engaging our employees and communities to raise environmental awareness and make an impact. And I'll get into a little bit more detail about that um, later on. So the next slide shows, um, it's a snapshot from our CSR report from 2012, our performance highlights, and it talks about our overall pillars of the bank. So to, uh, TD's growth strategy aims to build a company that we deliver shareholder value over the long term and leave a sustainable organization for our future. We are mindful that TD can only be successful as the communities in which we operate in and that brings a particular responsibility to help strengthen those communities. Our corporate responsibility strategy is built on four themes that contribute to TD's overall vision to be the better bank. So you can see there be customer focused, to be an environmental leader, to build an extraordinary workplace, and also to strengthen our communities. And where my department fits in, which is community relations, um, our focus is on the strengthening our communities, um, part of our pillars. And we have four of those, financial literacy and education. And these are across North America, I should point out. So it's, it's Canada, as well as here in the US. Um, I manage the programs in the US only, um, but we align as much as we can with our partner in Canada. So uh, together we do financial literacy and education, creating opportunities for young people, a huge impact in the U.S. here is affordable housing, and as well as helping the environment. Um, and you can see we planted 40,000 plus trees in the past couple of years. Actually, I'm sorry, that was just in 2012 at South, we planted over 40,000 trees. Um, so what Community Relations does, um, we develop and implement and manage TD's corporate community involvement and employee engagement strategy programs and initiatives in alignment with all of TD's business goals. Um, in the US, CRA is very important, so anything we do has to relate back to the Community Re Reinvestment Act. Um, uh, you'll see in there it says, tell TD's community story, a lot of what John has talked about earlier. Uh, we also try to make sure everything we do is in the interest of our employees and also in the interest of our community as well as our community needs. 
in every program we do, we try to look at the scope to see if it's U.S. focused or North American overall. And again, we try to align as much as we can with our partners in Canada. So a lot of our programs are, are North American based. Um, a little bit more about what we do. So our programs at TD Bank, we have education programs, which is our summer reading program and first book reading parties across um, from Maine to Florida. We have two uh, environmental programs, TD Treaties, which we partner with Act Trees on, as well as TD Green Street. And then some of our other employee engagement programs is our annual employee giving campaign, our TD Volunteer Network, which is our um, new volunteer system we'll be launching next month, um, which will be great for any volunteer opportunities that any of you might have. We, we love to put them into the system and get our employees out there. They're always looking for ways to get involved in the community, and we're excited to be able to launch this to our employees for a place to track hours and search for opportunities around them for them to get involved. Uh, we also have a volunteer donation program for when an employee volunteers 40 hours or more at a local community organization will donate $500 in their name. And we also have our employee reading program where employees go out to local schools, libraries, community groups, and read a um, pack of three financial themed books to the children over a course of time. And um, again, they get volunteer hours credit towards that. We have special initiatives, like John said, we do in-kind contributions. Ours is more um, usually based on technology, uh, computer refurbishments and, and stuff like that. We also do internal external collection drives. We align with all of our um, affiliates, so TD Auto Finance, TD Securities, TD Ameritrade, and TD Bank USA. Um, so it's not just the bank that we, we're managing programs for. And like John said, there's a lot of communications, and this all leads to telling our story, which is very important. So we have the Global Community Responsibility Report, annual reports, different awards and nominations, Team Wow is our internet, um, track all the photos and videos we get, because again, photos are the best way of telling a story. Um, and of course, internal and external communications with our media relations partner. So this leads me to TD Tree Days, which is our um, flagship volunteer program. It launched in 2010 as a national employee engagement program in Canada. TD Tree Days has evolved into TD's flagship volunteer program, engaging employees, friends, family, and community partners in four countries. TD Tree Days invests in the health of our urban tree canopies and offers TD employees a fun, easy, and rewarding way to give back and help green the communities in which we live and work. The program also provides employees the opportunity to demonstrate leadership and environmental stewardship in their local communities. And in three short years, um, thousands of volunteers across North America and England have planted more than 85,000 trees through this program. And um, so in 2011 was the first time it was introduced in the U.S. And we started with a small amount of tree plantings. There was only three plantings. Um, we had 251 volunteers. We planted 177 trees in those three events. And in 2012, you can see I have the results up. We more than doubled what we did the year before. We went from three to 10 plantings. We had over 500 volunteers. We planted almost 550 trees. Um, I included a picture here from our Miami planting last year. It was, I was told it was one of the hottest days for them to plant a tree. I believe Leland, and you were at that event. Um, all they complained was. about was how hot it was, and I know they showed up in jeans, but I know everyone walked away having a great time. Um, and that leads me to 2013, which is this year, and starting at the end of September, we will have um, TD volunteers in more than 165 communities in U.S., Canada, United Kingdom, and Luxembourg will plant more than 45,000 trees this year. This year in the U.S., we'll be planting in 20 communities, which I have up on the screen there, with um, more than 1,000 volunteers and planting over 1,700 trees. So we're very excited. It seems like each year we're doing more than doubling what we're doing to the, in our communities, and we hope to continue that in the coming years. Um, our employees are definitely very engaged, and although we keep expanding, you know, employees, there's not one everywhere. Again, we're Maine to Florida. We have 1,300 stores and locations and plenty of back offices, and um, they always want more, and we try to let them know, you know, we try to build it so people can, can at least drive about an hour, hour and a half if need be. Um, but they want more, so hopefully, you know, we'll be able to work with Actrees in the future about expanding this and, and getting more out to the communities. Um, each of our sites are determined by need, and we plant trees that are best for that location. Each event ranges in size from 30 to 100 volunteers. It all depends, again, on the need. And the trees that are picked there um, range in size as well. I know John had mentioned that. Um, so to, 
to create a program at TD um, in the Community Relations Department, and, and again, uh, Tree Days is probably one of our, or is our biggest signature program. Um, a lot goes into it to stay aligned with all of TD's pillars. Um, so when we started working with Act Trees in 2011, we had to walk through all these program concepts. Uh, we do our research, we look at best practices, we try to align with our, again, with our, non, our, our partner um, up in Canada. We have to look at funding and budget to see how far we can expand to our employees. Again, if we could do one in every city, I know they'd love it. Um, build our campaign partnership and our vendor relationship. So again, this would be with Act Trees. We look at all of our internal partners, um, CRA operations, we have a charitable foundation. Um, Kappa is our media relations partner, marketing, we do everything through HR, environmental affairs privacy and legal, just to name a few. So again, we can't just create a program on our own. We have to work with everyone to make sure that it's gonna align and support the company's social responsibility goals. Um, so some of our feedback from our volunteer events, uh, most of these came from our tree days in the past couple of years. Um, very good, very positive. You know, people sometimes don't know what to expect. They plan on going out there, they think they're gonna plant those two foot trees and come to find out it's a you know six foot tree and um, they're a little nervous about how are they going to do that, but um, afterwards, they're, you know, they're excited that they got to do that. They got to stand in the hole and put the tree, and it, you know, um, so it's always great feedback. One thing that's not on here that I heard last year from one of our employees is one of the best parts of our employees volunteering for TD Tree Days is that they get to go out and work with all levels of employees. So last year, I had a um, teller service manager come up to me and told me that she got to meet her idol and got to plant a tree next to him and her idol was the market president. You know, that he, he was like a god here in South Jersey and to be able to spend time with him in jeans and a t-shirt, get dirty, plant a tree, she literally told me that it made her day and it was worth driving the hour to do the planning and she couldn't wait for the next year. So th the benefit of these plantings is, you know, you're not just working with your team members. You get to go out there, you get to meet other employees, you get to work with leadership, um, and when you're out there and everyone's out there in jeans and the same t-shirt, no one knows who you are, what you do, and what level you are at the bank. You're out there for one goal. Um, and in the end, I just, you know, it's just amazing um, to see everyone's smiles on their faces afterwards. Um, again, here's some pictures taken throughout the past couple of three-day events. Everyone's got smiles on, whether or not it's Miami in that top left corner in the sun or, you know, in the bottom in Detroit where it was cold and they have their um, sweatshirts on. So no matter what, everyone always has a great time. Um, so I think that's about it for me. I have my contact information up here. Also, the link for getting our, looking at our corporate responsibility report is there. We did not print any out this year. We do it all via electronic. Um, again, to be environmentally friendly is the goal for everything we do this year. So if you'd like to take a, a look at that, please, um, you can check out that link. I believe Sarah said that the presentation would be emailed out to everyone. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Katie. Welcome. So uh, again, folks, we are uh, going to open the lines up for questions. So in that question and answer tab, or the questions tab rather, type them in and we will ask them out loud. In the meantime, I again have lots of questions, so uh, of I'm going to start off with those while people are typing in. Um, one of the things that I think is really interesting um, about working with TD as we have planned these TD Tree Days in the past. We always work with our local member organizations, uh, just as with CSX, um, local uh, tree nonprofits and partners to, to organize the tree planting. And what's a little bit different about TD employees sometimes as compared to others is that um, as a bank, a lot of your employees work, uh, you know, they're not full time working every day. Um, and that's true with many companies all around the country. And that also means that there's, uh, you know, different um, considerations for engaging employees and, you know, can they take the time off, that kind of thing. Tell us a little bit about um, what people need to keep in mind when, when working with a, a company that has that uh, kind of employment structure. Sure. So being flexible is probably um, the number one thing for me to say. Um, you know, for us, um, our bank is open seven days a week. Um, a lot of times we're open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. in majority of our stores, and we have our call centers that are open 24 hours a day every day of the year. So for us to be able to pull employees out to volunteer in these signature events and programs, we have to make sure that it's during a time where there could be coverage in the stores, because you can't just do something in a city where 
we only have maybe two or three stores that are local and you're looking for 30 volunteers, but our stores only have about 12 people, um, 12 employees in it. So it would be very hard to pull everyone out. So we have to think about when we do these larger programs and even smaller locations or smaller programs, what's being done and how many people and where can we pull from. Um, it's always easier for us to work where we have corporate offices and we do have major a lot of those throughout the company. Um, but again, we can't just do something on a Saturday because we have, you know, the stores are open every day. So we'd always be pulling from people. So it's just, you know, we have to be flexible. Let's make it work. You know, if a big event doesn't work, maybe we can break it up to two or three smaller events where we can engage different, um, different employees that, that can't possibly get out. So. Great. And then um, th this is a, a, another broad question. So thank you and John both for answering my broad questions. But um, you showed us again a, a great example of how you, TD promotes the um, social work that uh, you're doing with your partners. And you showed us some of those great quotes. Tell us a little bit more about how um, you guys like to tell your story through pictures, through quotes. What is the feedback that um, you like to see, receive to help tell both your company and uh, the people with the purse strings that is <laughs> a, a valuable program, both for public. The purse strings are the most important people sometimes. That's right. You know, John mentioned that he had a staff of, I think, one or two other people, and we're that size as well. So we have 28,000 employees in the U.S., and there's uh, currently there's only two of us, hopefully a third one soon, doing this. So, you know, there's only so much we can say and get out to, to people. You know, so a lot of times when we're doing presentations, we need those pictures. And we need to prove to the people with the purse strings that doing these programs are important and that our employees want to do that. So to get the feedback and the quotes from them. So the surveys that we receive after each event is great when, when asking the employees, you know, their actual feeling. You know, checking off boxes and rating stuff is great, but we want to see their words. Um, they're the ones that tell the story. And the pictures are great to be able to show employees out there um, doing the planning, digging the holes, you know, standing there in the rain in Portland, Maine last year. You know, I, I believe it poured rain for most of the morning, but they were still out there planning with smiles on their faces. So anytime we can do photos and just personal feedback from employees are, are, are great um, because we need to show the people that, um, that manage the budget that it's worth the money um, to invest to be able to do these programs. Fantastic. Um, and this is another question that uh, is a little broad, and but I'm ho hoping you'll take a crack at it. And then also, um, John, feel free to jump in on this one. Uh, in, in many cases, it's easy enough to get a company to send out its employees to do a one-day tree planting. That's what a lot of our members and local nonprofits see. What are your suggestions for turning those one-off sort of uh, corporate volunteer tree plantings into some kind of larger partnership with a company uh, to do more plantings or to grow that funding or some kind of continued sustained partnership. How should people go about that and, and you know, what's the approach they should take? Well, that's a tough question. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of it is building a relationship with the local community market. Um, showing that the market that, so if we go out and do this big TD tree days with Act Trees, you know, in our Philadelphia location, um, you know, for the organization to maybe follow up with the local market and say, hey, I'd love, you know, would love to have volunteers come back next month to help water trees or prune the trees and, and stuff like that and to continue to build it locally and as, I think, as a corporate level to see that, that um, partnership kind of continue building after we've done this you know, large scale event. Um, I think it would definitely be something that overall corporately, you know, they, they might see and want to build off of it and maybe continue to build that that partnership with that local member organization. Does that help? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I, I didn't even mean um, from TD's perspective, but it was a great example. Yeah, uh, I, I think it, it could play overall. Yeah, I, you know, a lot of people who are listening are working for nonprofits. And so just to hear from, um, you know, private business, um, corporate examples um, or just your perspective about how to, to keep working with folks, um, we really appreciate it. John, do you have any thoughts on that question? Yeah, a couple of thoughts. Um, again, back to our beyond our, our rails.org site, um, there's an opportunity there for nonprofits to go in and post events 
for our employees to see and sign up for. I mean, if you have the um, the fortune of having CSX come to the town that you're actually doing an event and, and being a participant in that in a big way, you can um, actually, you know, identify champions who are there locally who might want to continue to do your work in their community. But even if that doesn't happen, um, you have the ability to go into beyondourrails.org and post an event. Um, tree plantings have become very popular uh, because of the program we have with Trees for Tracks. And you can basically put that in there and employees who are looking for opportunities in the community um, can find that and can get involved. And the kind of person that proactively looks for those kinds of events are the kinds of people that would be more inclined to do recurring events. Um, and if you ever do find one of those champions, um, inviting them to be, you know, on your board or in some capacity as a leader, um, you know, we're really promoting that with our company employees right now. And um, depending upon their level, they might even garner some charitable support for your organization. Um, every one of our employees also qualify for our Dollars for Doers program. So similar to what Katie mentioned, if an employee comes out and, and works with your organization, and even if they work with multiple organizations, um, they'll, they'll be able to cash out the hours that they volunteer for funding to any organization, um, non uh, nonprofit, 501c3 organization of their choice. So once you get them and they, um, you know, become familiar with you and, and you become kind of what they are interested in supporting, you can even um, benefit from Dollars for Doers. Great. Thank you. I think we probably have time for one final question, so uh, I'll, I'll ask it out. And um, this is about what your employees, uh, both you when you attend these events and what your employees um, are expecting when you show up at a volunteer event. Um, you both for your signature events through Trees for Tracks and TD Tree Days have sometimes had um, really lovely and, and very thoughtful and complete events with breakfast and lunch and water and um, uh, you know bathroom facilities and uh, photographer and name tags and things like that. That's I think at the at the high end. But what do you think um, you know corporate employees expect to see? Whether it's um, some food, uh, a, you know, the opportunity to have your banner up there. What what do you want to see when you come to an event like this? Um, I think I mean talking for our employees, not necessarily. Um, myself planning events, I think our employees would want to come and just, they want to see, um, they want to see an event where everyone wants a t-shirt, they all want to, you know, look alike and, and have that t-shirt, but I think they just overall, they're looking forward to a place to work together in the community. I don't necessarily think it's about the food, the drinks, I think that's a, a nice to have. Um, I think seeing a banner with the two logos on it, the, you know, our company and the, the partners logo on it. I think that's important to see that we're working together. Um, but I think overall our, our employees, are, they're just coming to look out, coming for an event itself, just a, a place to come out, do the, do the work that they want, volunteer, help the community. And I think as long as they leave with a smile on their face knowing what they did was great, to us it, that, that's a perfect event. Great. Well, on our end, I think one of the most important things is just having a well-organized event, kind of having a a firm starting point and a firm ending point, um, an explanation of what's going to be accomplished, how it's going to be accomplished, and then making it um, making it meaningful service. We we found just from evaluating surveys that um, our employees want to, if they're going to take the time to come out and volunteer their time, they want to be busy, they want to be active, they want to be engaged, they want to feel as though they're making a difference. And unlike maybe uh, what 
maybe back when we were in high school or whatever, um, the more we do, the more we sweat, the better we feel about what we've done. I mean, it, it sounds like that isn't necessarily the case, but if, if you dilute the event by having too many volunteers, meaning people are standing around holding shovels and not active, that's where you lose them. So Agreed. I would say you need to make it meaningful volunteer service that they feel like they really put a lot into it and that, you know, the work that they did is going to be appreciated. Fantastic. That, I think, is all we have time for right now. We are right at the end of our webcast, so I want to thank you both so much for telling us about your CSR work and uh, what it means to, to do community tree plantings and how nonprofits can work with corporate partners to uh, have a real impact and make a difference in communities. Uh, today's presentations and this recorded session will all be available uh, in about one week along with a related resource list on uh, the topic. And we will send all of those out to everyone who completes the survey that you're gonna see uh, in just a, a few minutes at the close of the session. So again, please take a, uh, just a minute to complete that survey that pops up. It really helps us to make sure that we are providing webcasts on topics that matter to you and that are relevant to your work. Our next webcast session, as we head back into the fall, will be on September 19th. We'll be covering uh, how to engage children in learning about trees, both inside and outside the classroom. And that'll be again on Thursday, September 19th. So look out and sign up for that one. A big thank you to our two presenters, John Kitchens from CSX and Katie Thiemann from TD Bank. Really appreciate your time and your wonderful insight into corporate citizenship and corporate social responsibility. Big thank you to all of our uh, attendees, all the participants. This has been a program of Alliance for Community Trees. We look forward to working with you in the future. Have a great day.